The animal kingdom is an unbelievable place. Yep, there are simply millions of species of animals on the planet, and scientists still haven't even scratched the surface. They're finding bizarre new species every day. That's right, there's creatures out there that we didn't even know existed. From the bone-eating worms that live under the sea to the spider that looks like a pelican. These are the 20 terrifying newly discovered species that shocked the world. Antarctic Scale Worm Meet the Southern Ocean Superstar, Eulogisca gigantea. It's the marine world's version of a party in the front, business in the back. Yes, we're talking mullets, ladies and gentlemen, and this might just be the only sea creature in the world who is rocking one. This worm's got the whole terrifying yet oddly mesmerizing thing going on. At over 20 centimeters long and 10 centimeters wide, it's not exactly a cuddly critter. Xenomorph's distant cousin, the Antarctic scale worm, belongs to the scale worm family, Polynoidae. As for their diet, well, that's still a bit of a mystery, but rumor has it they're not exactly veggie lovers, more like active hunters on the prowl. Watch out, potential prey! Now, here's the weirdest thing of all. That head without eyes is actually a retractable proboscis. When it's hunting time, this 7 cm long spear rolls out, revealing some seriously sharp munching gear. Yep, this is officially the worm from hell. The bone-eating worms. Zombies under the ocean? Whatever next. Yep, Osadax worms are the real-life zombies that live 10,000 feet deep under the sea. But these zombies don't crave brains, they love to feast on bones. These 1 to 3 inch monsters were first discovered in the skeleton of a rotting grey whale, baffling marine biologists across the globe. There are 26 species of Osadax worms, and they are all seriously disturbing. For a start, these deep sea zombie worms don't have any mouths or any guts, and they feed using a unique root system that drills into the bone and digests the fats and protein. Only the female worms perform this unusual drilling technique, and the tiny male specimens actually live inside the female the zombie worms. Researchers actually found 111 males living inside one female worm. Talk about freeloaders! The sinister zombie worm secretes a acid from its skin that dissolves the bone, allowing them to access the delicious collagen trapped inside. We don't know about you, but we're pretty glad that these deep sea zombie worms only live thousands of feet below the ocean, and nowhere near the water that we swim in, or at least we hope that's the case. Barrel Eye Fish Deep down in the ocean, between 2,000 and 2,600 feet, there is a very peculiar creature who hides in the dark. The Barrel Eye Fish is so unique because of the transparent shield over the strange sea creature's head. Yep, you can see right through this fish. It's named after its barrel-shaped eyes that have specially adapted to collecting as much light as it possibly can in the dark waters of the deep. It can look right up or straight ahead through its transparent head in order to spot potential predators or prey. This awesome see-through shield can also protect its eyes from the stings of deadly siphonophores that can also creep around in the darkness. This incredible fish is also known as the Macropinna microstoma and was first discovered way back in 1939. However, it was only very recently that this odd fish was photographed alive for the first time. Imagine being the one to grab that photo. Number 17. Goblin Shark Scientists once believed that this sinister shark was extinct, but it was later filmed by a remotely operated vehicle some 4,000 feet below the waves. They are the only living creature left in the ancient Mitsukurinidae family which dates back to approximately 125 million years ago. Basically, the elusive goblin shark is a living dinosaur. They can be found throughout the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans, and are named after a mystical Japanese demon known as a Tengu. We can see why. This long-snouted beast was then nicknamed the goblin shark in the English translation, and well, the name sort of stuck. This creepy creature can reach lengths of over 13 feet long and has a slender sword-like nose that scientists speculate could be used as a kind of radar to detect their prey in the darkness. Yep, even if the goblin shark can't see you, it can still sense your presence. And if that doesn't creep you out, we don't know what will. Thankfully, this freaky fish lives so deep under the sea that the chances of bumping into one are next to nothing. 
Phew, that's a relief. Ping Pong Tree Sponge Yep, the Ping Pong Tree Sponge is something else. In fact, it looks like it's from a whole different planet. It's about 50 centimeters tall and consists mostly of a thin stalk topped with eerie orbs. But don't be fooled by its jello-like appearance. Those blobs are covered in hook-shaped spicules, essentially the sponge's skeleton, and they trap crustaceans like Velcro. Yep, this weird entity likes to eat meat. The trapped critters get slowly digested by sponge cells, kind of like amoebas. This sponge doesn't have a stomach, so it's a gruesome translucent process for the whole ocean to witness. And guess where you can find this horror show? In the deep Pacific Ocean, of course, around 2,700 meters down. Come on, where else would such a freaky creature live? Antarctic Strawberry Feather Star Buckle up for this Antarctic thriller, the Antarctic Strawberry Feather Star. With 10 rays, 20 arms, and a body like a strawberry, it's like a sci-fi creation straight from the deep. Scientists stumbled upon this creepy cool species in the Antarctic Ocean during their expeditions from 2008 to 2017. They were originally hunting for the Antarctic feather stars, known for their downright out-of-this-world looks. That's when they stumbled across this brand new species. And what did they call their newfound star? Promacocrinus fregarius. Because its body is a dead ringer for a strawberry. Turns out, fregarius is Latin for strawberry. You really do learn something new every day. This underwater creature hangs out pretty deep, lurking between 65 and 1,170 meters below the surface. We can't decide if this strange new species is beautiful or just downright disturbing. We've never been so confused about a strawberry before. A Longhead Darter Fish Guess who's back from an 80-year vacation in Ohio? It's the OG comeback kid. The small longhead darter last spotted in the state in 1939. This fish was missing in action for decades, until now that is. Last fall, the Ohio Division of Wildlife hit the jackpot, finding not one but two of these little fellas in the Ohio River. With their olive yellow scales and a dark spot in the tail fin's base, these fish really stand out from the crowd. At 4.5 to 5 inches, scientists were able to make them out in the murky river for the first time in almost a century. Pretty cool, right? And they're not just Ohio natives. Apparently, you can now spot them in Tennessee. New York, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Kentucky, Virginia, and North Carolina too. Not too bad for a fish everyone thought was extinct. Hitchhiking Beetle Now this is one wild hitchhiker. Meet Nymphister Cronori, the beetle with a genius plan. Researchers in Costa Rica stumbled upon this little bug while keeping an eye on some army ants. From up top, everything seemed business as usual, but a side view revealed some ants had what looked like a double-decker abdomen. Scientists thought that was pretty weird, so they took a closer look. And upon closer inspection, they were in for a massive surprise. The top abdomen was actually a mystery beetle hanging on for dear life with its mandibles. It had evolved into a master of disguise, blending seamlessly with the ant's backside. The big reveal happened when they gave the vial a shake, and the beetle popped off, unveiling itself. Now, the full details on how this beetle pulls off its ant impersonation is still a bit of a mystery, but one thing's for sure, its camouflage game is so on point that scientists only recently caught a glimpse of it. This beetle's been hiding in plain sight. The Hagfish This strange alien sea creature has no teeth and no bones and resembles a small jelly-like blob. In fact, they are actually the only animal on the planet with a skull and no spines. Yep, it's the one and only Hagfish. These disgusting fish may be blind but they can rely on their powerful senses to help them hunt down their victims in the perpetual darkness. Their strong sense of smell and touch allows them to find food on the ocean floor, and once they have found their prey, they will begin using their bizarre bodies to tunnel through the animal, eating from the inside out. Yikes, that's a nasty way to go. The hagfish's favorite meal of all time is a rotting carcass lying on the seabed. And this slimy, limp fish is actually extremely important for the ecosystem of the ocean, clearing up dead bodies wherever it goes. As for anything that has a stomach strong enough to try and eat the hagfish, this slimy sea creature has a disgusting defense system. 
that has any predator swimming away in revulsion. The hagfish will produce an enormous amount of slimy goo, allowing it to slip and slide out of an attacker's grip, before tying itself up into a knot to clean itself up again. Yuck. Pelican Spiders Pelican spiders, also known as assassin spiders, are not only famous for being extremely strange in appearance, but also for being one of the only species of spiders that feast upon other spiders. Growing to just 8 millimeters in length, these freaky arachnids live in Madagascar, South Africa, and Australia, and are considered to be living fossils, having existed on this planet for around 165 million years. These ancient spiders can be recognized by their strange body shape and long necks that have often been compared to the profile of a pelican. They have distinct, highly specialized mouths that allow them to prey on their fellow spider brethren, and are by far one of the most nightmare-inducing species of spiders we've ever seen. Interestingly, the pelican spider was once thought to be extinct until researchers rediscovered them in the wild. Talk about wishful thinking. And now it's time for our open discussion. This creepy creature has caused a stir online. Is it a fish, a scorpion, a reptile? As of yet, nobody has been able to identify this long-tailed, eight-legged monster. Not only is it terrifying to look at, but it seems that it's carrying some eggs on its back too. Yikes. But what do you guys think? Use the hashtag open discussion in the comment section below to share your thoughts. Robin Moore's Night Frog Get ready to meet the newest pine-sized amphibians, the night frogs. These little guys are the true definition of tiny, measuring a mere 12.2 millimeters. They're so small, it's no wonder they've only just been spotted. Now, this new frog discovery is part of the Nyctrobacchus gang, aka the night frogs. It took five whole years of exploring the Western Ghats biodiversity hotspot in India to unveil these mini marvels. They're basically the ninja frogs of the animal kingdom, with calls that sound more like insects than amphibians. Their love for hiding in secretive spots probably played a part in keeping them hidden until now. Robin Moore's night frog is not just one of the tiniest frogs in India, but it also ranks among the world's smallest. Yep, we told you they were small. Vermicella parscauda down under in Australia, a bunch of scientists from the University of Queensland have just unveiled a brand spanking new species of bandy bandy snake. These slithery fellas have a peculiar taste for blind snakes, and they're on the petite side, measuring in at a mere 20 to 40 inches. They're black and white and venomous too. Oh great, of all the new species these researchers could have found, they had to unearth one that was deadly. But don't let their venomous status fool you. These brandy bandies are actually pretty chill and won't harm humans, or so scientists say. The species was discovered in the Waipa area of Cape York, Queensland, while researchers were out sea snake hunting. It was then that they stumbled upon our newfound friend, just chilling on a concrete block by the sea. Talk about a chance encounter. Vampire Squid Meet the vampire squid, the creepy creature chilling out at 2,000 to 3,000 feet beneath the waves. This horror movie critter is covered in photophores, fancy glowing bits that help it lure in its prey at night. Now, the official name is really hard to pronounce, and it's Latin, and it roughly means vampire squid from hell. Talk about a dramatic introduction, but hold on to your garlic and your wooden stakes because this little guy doesn't actually have a taste for blood. No fangs here, folks. It got its spooky title when a bunch of sea explorers stumbled upon it in the late 1800s. One explorer, Carl Chun, saw its red eyes and tentacle webbing, and the rest is history. The real life legend that is the vampire squid was born. Turns out these ancient sea legends have been around since prehistoric times. Hanging out in the Oxygen Minimum Zone, or OMZ, a spot with thin air. So thin it'd make climbing Mount Everest seem like a walk in the park, in fact. That's why finding out information on these supernatural squids is a real challenge for researchers. Move over, Hollywood vamps. These creatures are the real nightmares of the deep. Anglerfish Living in a state of permanent darkness 3,000 feet below the ocean, the sneaky anglerfish has an evil way of luring in its prey. Reaching up to 3 feet in length, the female of the species has a dorsal spine that hangs over their head. 
resembling an innocent fishing pole. Complete with a glowing bait that proves irresistible to smaller fish, hypnotized by this bioluminescent light, their prey will swim close enough to the angler fish to see its sinister razor-sharp fangs. But by the time they realize their fatal mistake, it's already too late. The deadly angler fish has such a gigantic mouth that it can swallow prey double its size, chomping them down with creepy translucent teeth that are virtually undetectable in the pitch black darkness. Don't go into the light, ghost shrimp. Let's talk about ghost shrimp, or as they're also known, glass shrimp. These little guys are like the Houdinis of the freshwater world. Hailing from the southeastern United States, their claim to fame, they're practically see-through. Now these ghost shrimp don't exactly have the longest lifespan. They're basically the rock stars of the underwater world, living fast and dying young, usually clocking in at just about a year. That's blink and you'll miss it compared to other fish who can live for decades. But even though they only live to the grand old age of one year old, they've got some serious survival skills. These bad boys can go without oxygen for up to six days. Talk about tough cookies. They hunt their food by being absolute digging machines, constantly tunneling away in the sand, sometimes reaching depths of a whopping 30 inches, all in the pursuit of a good meal. Now, if that doesn't earn them a gold star for effort, we don't know what does. All that digging must make them hungry. Ghost Shark We're heading over 5,000 feet under the waves in search of an elusive fish that even scientists know very little about. We're talking about the terrifying Ghost Shark, a blue pointy-nosed creature that has been lurking under the ocean for millions of years. It's covered in weird Frankenstein-like stitches all over and is so rare that it has only been spotted a handful of times. Now, the weird stitches on its body are actually highly developed sensory organs that can sense even the tiniest of movements and vibrations deep under the sea. And it's not technically a shark, but rather the lesser known ratfish. Fossils of this prehistoric ratfish have been found by paleontologists who've dated the creature back to between 350 million to 375 million years ago. They even predate dinosaurs. No wonder they call it the ghost shark. This thing has been haunting the planet since forever. And now, thanks to modern technology, the ghost shark was finally caught on camera after researchers recorded the animal using a remotely operated underwater vehicle off the coast of Hawaii and California. Who knew the ocean was haunted? Not us. Portuguese Man of War when it comes to poisonous creatures, they don't come much bigger than this. It's the Portuguese Man of War. This siphonophore has poisonous tentacles that can grow to over 150 feet long. While most people believe that this enormous sea creature is a jellyfish, it's actually part of a curious species of animals named siphonophores. But what exactly does that mean? Well, the siphonophores consists of colonies made of thousands of genetically identical, yet individual, creatures. It starts off as one fertilized egg and then grows into unique organisms. While these minuscule organisms known as zoids can't survive on their own, they can together, and they gather into one tentacled unit. Zoids and Portuguese man of war all serve their own important purpose. From the dactylozoids, which hunt and capture prey in the long leggy tentacles, to the gastrozoids, which are responsible for digesting food, and the gonozoids that manage reproduction. Every single organism has its own job in this toxic tribe. Damn, nature, you scary. Comb jellies. Let's dive into the magical world of comb jellies. These creatures are a real spectacle of the sea. First off, they get their name from their funky feature, rows of fused silica plates or combs that run down their bodies like eight slick oars. Yep, these guys are the disco dancers of the microscopic world. And not only that, but they are the biggest critters to rock silica powered swimming. And when they get moving, it's a disco light show like no other, with those comb rows creating a groovy rainbow effect under the waves. And here's a pretty weird fact for you. Until 2015, scientists thought that comb jellies were eating and pooping through their mouths, which seemed to be their one-stop shop for everything. But then, researchers figured out that these guys actually have a hidden exit strategy. They release stuff they can't digest through pores in their rear end. Well, that's a lot less gross than they were originally thought to be. Deep Sea Hatchetfish 
Meet the deep sea hatchet fish, the ocean's own little hatchet wielding superhero. And there's a whopping 45 species in their family, ranging from a dainty one inch to a six inch titan. Their bodies are as slim as a blade, hence the hatchet name. Now let's talk about size. The heavyweight champ of the hatchet fish world reaches a beefy six inches. Most of them have silvery scales, but some, like the giant hatchet fish, are brown or green. And then there's those weird peepers. Their eyes aren't just for show, they're like built-in periscopes pointing upwards. This helps them spot tasty treats falling from the sky, way down in the deep. Now, according to scientists, these hatchet fish are party animals. And by that, they mean that they can light up the night with their bioluminescent bodies. Thanks to some nifty photophores along their bodies, they can throw their own underwater rave. Yep, the deep sea hatchet fish might just be the most interesting sea creature you've never heard of. Blue ringed octopus. These little cephalopods may be one of the most adorable sea creatures down under, but they are actually crazy venomous. Dwelling in the waters of southern Australia, the blue ringed octopus is capable of producing a deadly neurotoxin known as tetrodotoxin to paralyze and kill its victims. Interestingly, the octopus only shows its famous blue and black rings when it feels threatened. So chances are, if you see those up close, then it's already too late. Tetrodotoxin is 1000 times more poisonous than cyanide, and the amount of venom that the blue ringed octopus can produce is capable of killing 26 people. Worst of all, there is no known antidote to this uber deadly venom. Hmm, maybe this octopus isn't so cute after all. If you see one of these things, do not touch it under any circumstance. Don't say we didn't warn ya.